Planets, stars, and moons all have a gravitational field, since they all have mass. That field is always the largest at the object's surface, where the distance from the center of the object is smallest. So when lowercase r in our equation, which is the distance to the center, becomes capital R, which is the radius of the object. By the way, only the mass of the planet that's closer to the center of the planet than you contributes to the gravitational field. So that means if you try to tunnel into the Earth below the surface, the gravitational field actually gets smaller. Let's determine the surface gravity of the Earth. Its mass is 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, and its radius is 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters. So surface gravity is G equals big G M over R squared. And big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meters squared over kilograms squared times the mass of the Earth, which is 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, dividing by the radius of the Earth, 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. So let's cancel out the units that we can. So we've got meters squared here and meters squared in the denominator and we have the kilograms and we have kilograms squared. So we're left with newtons over kilograms which we'll get to in a second. So let's take care of the number part of our answer. So we'll split up our numbers 6.67 times 6 divided by 6.4 squared. And then the exponents, 10 to the negative 11th, 10 to the 24th, 10 to the 6th squared. So 10 to the 6th squared is really 10 to the 12th. So we get 0.977 here and then negative 11 plus 24 minus 12 gives you 1 and that's 10 to the 1. So again not in proper scientific notation so we move the decimal place over here so that's about 9.8 and this becomes 0. Okay and now let's go look at the units. So we had newtons per kilogram. So remember back from dynamics that a newton is a kilogram times meters per second squared. So the kilograms cancel out and we're left with meters per second squared. 9.8 meters per second squared, which is what we would have expected it to be.